My name is Dave Zarn. I'm an assistant athletic therapist with the Vancouver Canucks. And my primary role there is uh, rehabbing injured players. A concussion is a traumatic brain injury um, caused by excessive force on the, on the skull, which in turn causes damage to the brain cells. And they don't work, you get symptoms, whether they be physical, cognitive, or emotional. Injure your knee, doesn't work properly, you have symptoms that you can easily see, touch, feel. What happens in your brain, can't touch them and feel them, but they come out in, in different ways. So you need someone who's professionally trained to be able to recognize these symptoms and know what to do. Oh, we have a nice protective layer on our brain. We can't see when our brains were bruised. They'll usually have some confusion, not sure where they are, possible memory issues related as well. They may forget what had just happened. In worst case scenario, or bad instances, they forget a lot more than that. Uh, depends on how much of the brain's damaged, what area of the brain is damaged. The Canadian Athletic Therapist Association have worked very hard to make sure that any therapist or trainer involved in sport is properly educated and properly certified to provide the best care possible. ATs are specialized in emergency care. We're all first responders, so if you don't have an AT around or someone who's educated like we are, then you know, you'll try to do things before you're ready. The role of an athletic therapist or trainer is important in sport because we are the ones that are able to spot out the injury at the time of occurrence and thus able to guide the athlete through the return to play protocol, which must be monitored by a family physician. All first responders were able to take athletes from the ice or from the field straight through acute rehab, subacute rehab, return to play. Um, we go from start to finish. That's what makes us unique. Graduated return to play protocol allows the athlete to be safely integrated back into sport using a step-by-step -step approach to introducing elevated heart rate with sport specific drills to non-contact and then full contact practice. Once the player is symptom free and cleared by the physician to enter back into full contact sport, they will need to retake a baseline test, as this will now be their post-injury score. I love helping people and to see them succeed after an injury, you know, get them back faster than they've anticipated, feeling better than they did you know, when they first got injured. Those are the things that you know, make me come to work every day. It's not a job to me. I wake up every day and I go to the rink and I deal with, with my guys. Um, it's not work. I don't know how to describe it other than it feels awesome.